Nintendo recently held their quarterly fiscal report and shared along with it a release list for upcoming Nintendo Switch titles. The spring titles are a given, and we know that Yoshi and Fire Emblem are coming out this year. What interests us are the big free ones, Bayonetta 3, Metroid Prime 4, and of course, Pokemon Switch. For Bayonetta 3 and Metroid Prime 4, it writes naturally, to be announced. But that's not the case for Pokemon Switch RPG, which is slated for a 2018 or later release. So, what could this mean? Perhaps it means that Nintendo is doing anything in their power to bring this title to the Switch in the holiday season. Let's find out inside Pokemon Switch. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Inside Pokemon Switch. Today, we will look closer at Nintendo's and Game Freak's serious attempt to bring the first mainline Pokemon title to a console this year, and look at the possibilities for a Gen 8 title. And do not worry, we have already explored the possibility for a Kanto reboot, so if you haven't watched that episode, check it out here by clicking the card in the top right of the screen. Moving on, Pokemon RPG for Nintendo Switch, releasing 2018 or later, this is not a rumour, but an official update from Nintendo themselves. And, to be honest, it makes sense seeing as Tsunekazu Ishihara, the president of the Pokemon company, stated during Nintendo E3 2017, it may not release for more than a year, but we hope you will look forward to it all the same. What this means is that the game has most likely been in development ahead of Pokemon Sun and Moon's release in 2016, and might be close to two years into development at this point. One thing is game development, another is that traditional cycle of each Pokemon generation, which usually lasts for about three years. This was the case for Generation 5, Pokemon Black and White, 2010-2013, and Generation 6, X and Y, in 2013-2016. With the seventh generation in its second year, and already a complete set of four titles, Pokemon Sun and Moon in 2016, and Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon in 2017, it appears that from a gaming standpoint, the generation is over. And Game Freak most likely agree. The seventh generation is to be the last on the 3DS, and now that they have moved over to the Switch, it would make sense that a new generation is on the rise. The reason for this assumption is that Game Freak never continue a generation when they move to another system. They start new ones, and usually each system gets two mainline generations. This was the case for the Game Boy and Game Boy Color, which got Gen 1, Gen 2, the DS which got Gen 4 and Gen 5, and the 3DS which was home to the sixth and seventh generations. The exception from this rule is the Game Boy Advance, which only had the third generation and the remakes of the first generation. In other words, if the franchise is not to be rebooted for its first console outing, it makes total sense that Game Freak will move straight to the eighth generation and release within 2018 or 2019. Which year we will end up with depends on the level of ambition Game Freak has for this title, and how much Nintendo will pressure to get this Pokemon RPG ready in time for the 2018 Switch holiday sales. Enough on the release date, as we now have an entire potential for a new region to talk about. But, before we go into the rumoured location itself, let's go over some of the technical aspects, beginning with Mega Evolutions, Z Moves, and the Ultra Beasts. Every Pokemon generation has a new gimmick or key mechanic, and the 3DS generations have been filled with game-changing inclusions, but here is the only thing. Usually, they are not here to stay. So here is our first big question. Will Z-Moves be continued and Mega Evolutions reintroduced for the 8th generation, or will they be replaced by something else? It remains to be seen, but there is no doubt that another overpowered mechanic will most likely make its way into the game to break through those tougher duels. The next question is if the 8th generation will bring in less bound exploration, say being able to explore areas freely at your own leisure. This naturally should also apply to towns and gyms, which we hope will return, but with a rather short development time, say 2016, at best 2015, we would not expect a brand new generation and region to be open world in Breath of the Wild, say if the game is released by December 2018. Instead, we see an evolution of the world seen in Sun and Moon, but with a much grander scale and map, where instead of gradually exploring a small set of islands, this time you traverse entire countries. And this brings us to one of the rumors and recent hints that Pokemon Switch will take place in the Mediterranean, more specifically, Spain or Italy. We definitely would love to see a return to Europe, as it is either this, an Australian Pokemon region, or a return to Japan, which we will cover extensively next time. 
But with that being said, we would love a Pokemon region based on parts of the African continent. With its rich wildlife and different premise, it would definitely be interesting. Anyways, back to the topic at hand, Spain. The land of corridas, tapas, football, or soccer if you're an American like me, and one of history's largest empires. One Pokemon is definitely a given in this region. The Tauros and Bullfighter rings. Now you can abuse Pokemon at the same locations as real bulls are! Yeah, we aren't big fans of bullfighting. Perhaps this could be referenced in the game somehow. Obviously Spain or the Iberian Peninsula with Portugal are filled with great locations and cities such as Madrid, Barcelona, Sevilla, the home of bullfighting, Lisbon and Porto, has a long continuous coastline, rich wildlife from the mountains in the north to Costa del Sora and Brava in the south. Spain would be great, but what if the team is more ambitious? Say they decide to give us the missing sections of Kalos, which in real life is southern France, with its wine districts, the Walden city of Carcassonne, and naturally the French Riviera with super rich Monaco. In other words, have South Kalos' Riviera act as a bridge to connect Iberia with the most beautiful country in Europe, Italy. Which, by the way, is also rumored to be the region of Generation 8. Say hello to more fashion and style just like Lumio City, with a city based on Milan and Modena so we can have fashion and sports cars. Then have a Poke version of the City of Dreams, Venice. Just imagine all the water Pokemon that could hide in the many canals and how many locations there will be to explore in the narrow alleyways where a Pokemon could jump out of nowhere while enjoying a relaxing gondola ride. The city also has a great vantage point to indulge at all the Campanile. Imagine seeing Pokemon in the distance from here while seeing the many roofs of Canal City or whatever quirky name that Game Freak will give to Venice. But Italy is so much more, being the home of the Renaissance Florence and the eternal city of Rome, which Forum Romanum and Colosseum would be the perfect venue for the Elite Four and Champion Pokemon League battle. Geography-wise, a region based on Spain, Portugal, South and France and Italy would have all the geography required in a Pokemon game. From coastlines in Portugal, Spain, South and France and Italy, to mountains such as the Alps and the Pyrenees, deserts in Spain, plains and hills in Tuscany, and naturally volcanoes with Mount Vesuvius and Pompeii at the southern edge of the region. This would no doubt mark for the most diverse and incredible set piece in a Pokemon game, as it would truly be based in some of the best locations Europe and the world has to offer. And at least for Italy, me and Joseph will be traversing it this summer, so stay tuned for meetup opportunities. Needless to say, such a massive region could never be one single open world, but that would not be missed with an adventure across these lands. Just singular cities like Venice, Carcassonne, Barcelona, or Rome would blow anything we have seen in Pokemon games out of the water and possibly even battle for a Game of the Year title or two, even when the rival will be none other than Red Dead Redemption 2 this holiday season. Yes, it will require a much deeper and richer Pokemon game, but with a game set in these countries and some of the best cities in Europe and the entire world, then the old world might be able to fight against the Wild West. Overall, Nintendo knows that the holiday sales of the Nintendo Switch this year will depend on whether Fire Emblem Switch and Pokemon Switch release in, say, October and November. It will determine if the Switch will reach 30 million units this year, which it likely will anyway, seeing that it by February has sold 15 million units. But enough about that. With Pokemon Switch marked for 2018 or later, there is a hope that we might get deep into the next generation of Pokemon later this year. If it will be a Generation 8 inspired by Southwest Europe or a reboot in Return to Japan, only time and E3 will tell. Anyway, since you're still here, why not like this video and subscribe to help us on the way to 150,000 subscribers as we have many more episodes of Inside Pokemon Switch on the way leading to a hopefully grand reveal by the Pokemon Company and Game Freak as we slowly approach E3. As for the next episode, we will give you the following choice. An in-depth look into a combined Johto and Kanto reboot, or an extensive take on possible changes to the battle system. Vote by commenting below. Finally, we want to thank all our gracious patrons, including Patreon royal producer Kenyatta Ali. All pins have now been sent out, but if you missed out, we still have some super limited ones left. So go and check out patreon.com slash commonrealm today, 
Pledge five US dollars or more per month for a minimum over two months and receive your token and proof of being a proud member of the realm. You'll also be helping us do this full time with a proper team of editors, voice actors, and composers. Anyway, guys and girls, we have a packed February for you, so until the next videos and the next episode of Inside Pokemon Switch, this has been the Commonwealth Realm, and we will see you girls and guys soon.